King Timu land. Look at that. I think it's the end of the road for this. I've had this for only a few months. I got it for free, but still, like, damn, bro. All right, I'm so sorry about the lighting. My tripod just broke. Let's freaking go. I like this is my second tripod that's broken, but you know what? The yapping starts now. It's 3 a.m. I gotta be kind of quiet, but I, you know, the fucking ADHD mind's going off. So let's go, baby. We're gonna record this video same day, baby. This video is dedicated to my intermediate pros, the ones that are kind of going through, you know, they mastered their twists and they're like going through 13, 14, 15, 16. Inspired by your top players, right? And they're like, dude, their movement is so clean. They're so minimal, and I want to be just like that. And this is where the problem comes into play. Because right now, they're focused so much on trying to minimize footwork based on like heel and toe technique. But because of that, they're not actually properly focusing on pushing themselves to the next level when it comes to these 16th note runs. That's the problem. As noted from some top players, it's important to focus in on hitting the notes first. Focusing on minimalization later, and how deliberately hitting notes can really make a long way into developing leg strength for longer term runs, faster runs. And I personally fell under this fallacy. I think I was around more like 18, 19s, maybe 20s, where I was focusing so much on the footwork, and because of that, it kind of got me to get a little lazy. I was getting a little bit tired of these foot speed runs, especially on a single side with the higher BPMs. And instead of just focusing on like pushing my feet, I was just very lazily just kind of sliding my feet everywhere. Which maybe if you have some powder, you can kind of abuse it, but this is not a good habit to have. And more on the aspect of hyper, um, you know, using more of your mental foot rather than being in the flow state and focusing on the churn, you are instead focusing on trying to minimize the footwork, or even the simple parts where you're trying to like, I don't know, maintain combo or keep your life bar, you keep getting these random misses or bads because you're just trying to hyper focus on that tiny pixel or centimeter of foot save, like foot distance saving, instead of just focusing on the damn chart. So those are the two issues I have back then. Laziness to push when the high, high run BPM stuff came out, and just generally the lack of focus at all for the lower, like the, the stuff that should be free and you're just getting misses for no reason. Now, this is not an issue that all players face, but it is definitely prevalent. Uh, my friend Derm, I almost feel like every time he plays, he has it. Like, he thinks form is everything, and form is not everything. I'm telling you that right now. You have amazing players, like, who can I think of really good players that have not the best form? But that doesn't take the fact that he's playing excellently, despite his play style, you know, extremely good. But I want you to know is that form is obviously an integral part of improving as a Pompidou player. But it's not something you should hyper focus about. It's something that will come gradually with time and practice. Seriously, it really does. There's levels of heel and toe that I will talk about in future later on, where you're learning basic heel and toe, and then later on you're learning about anchors with your yellows, and then you're learning butt technique with your reds, and then you're focusing on like, there's so many layers. Don't worry about mastering it now because. It's always a working progress, no matter what skill level you are. In conclusion, form helps for preserving stamina, but as an intermediate player, you're truly understanding the values of what it means to push yourself at the very end of the song, the end of the marathon tier, where your light bar is just like, <laughs> it's, it's, like bar it's like barely there, right? This is where you gotta go all in. This is where you full send. Doesn't matter what level. Intermediate, advanced, expert. You're gonna full send. Form or not. This is why, instead of just trying to, like, I don't know, preserve and stuff like that, just kind of blend the two together, if you know what I'm saying. Hopefully that makes sense. I might cut that part way down later on, but hope my message is getting across. Chai Jaw, it's like a fucking.
57 a.m. All right. <laughs> Good night. All right. Take care, class.